Um, another vocabulary word is stiffness. Um, and again, stiffness is right after elasticity and plasticity. If it's not stretching for us or if it's not moving, then we talk about something being stiff. Okay, so the sort of the opposite of being plastic, uh, where it stretches without breaking, or at least it stretches easily, is something is stiff. So if I if my shirt was not plastic, if it was not exhibiting a nice floppy, comfortable cotton, that's why we wear comfortable cotton as a material. If this stuff was aluminum foil, or if if it would happen to be a, um, made out of wood or wicker that was really really stiff, uh, it would be very comfortable because it wouldn't move at all. So I have examples here of a of a stiff um, scrub brush that has these brushes are very stiff, and then over here I have a, a soft makeup uh, soft makeup brush, which of course these guys are not very stiff at all. Um, I don't typically use a makeup brush, but I can imagine um, trying to put on powdered makeup. Um, some sort of concealer um, or blush with a stiff scrub brush wouldn't feel very good because it wasn't very, uh, it would be too stiff. You want something nice and soft. So the examples here are the bristles of this brush are not very stiff at all, and the bristles of these this brush is very stiff because, of course, you're going to use a scrub brush to scrub away, you know, some sort of uh, of dirt or junk on the floor. So. Stiffness is the resistance to strain, bend, or deform. And again, we're talking about how, you know, how much resistance is there. So we walk into hardness. Hardness is a little bit different than stiffness. Uh, stiffness was, um, go right back, back to it again. Stiffness was strain, bend, and deform, sort of changing shape. Uh, in the case of hardness, hardness is resistance to strain, break, and scratch. Um, uh, especially surface-wise. I have a picture here of a lovely marble li uh, uh, lobby. Looks like the Italian ma marble lobby of a very expensive hotel. Um, I don't want to fall down on this floor. I most definitely don't want to hit my head on this floor. And I don't think I want to take my not very illustrative fingernails and try to scratch the floor. It's not happening. This is a very hard floor. Um, over here, it's difficult to see. Uh, this happens to be a dirt floor. It looks like a basement somewhere. Uh, this dirt floor is not very hard hard at all. I don't plan on falling down in this basement, but if I did, I don't think I'd hurt myself. And if I did take my fingers and sort of rake them through the dirt, um, it, it's, a, it's a very soft surface. So hardness and softness, of course, is the opposite of hardness. Um, it's just how, um, how hard the surface is. I'm using the vocabulary word again. It's the resistance to strain, uh, moving at all, uh, break or scratch. And just, just to be goofy down here, if you've ever watched The Biggest Loser, I have the champion, the winner of, uh, of Biggest Loser Season 4. Um, here is uh, Bill back when he was pretty soft, and then after going through The Biggest Loser, loser and working out like a like a maniac, he's, uh, he has a hard body. So there you go. So that helps you remember what hardness is and hard and soft is. Uh, one's kind of floppy and soft, and one's kind of hard and, and difficult to break or scratch.